Okay, we are ready to move on. Sorry, I make a mistake on typo error. I just edited it now. Ah, as the previous video, we are about to do the stack view. Uh, let's stack this one first, the shoes. By the way, I changed the view of the view here to be in F bar. You don't have to change, but please just know that. Okay, this is the shoe. I click the little icon next to the constraint here. It is embedded in stack. It's already embedded in stack. I'm not so sure that it's going to look the same to your Xcode or not, but simply click it. Okay, when you click, it's going to be look a little bit big, but yeah, never mind. Let's keep it like this. This is vertical. There's no problem. These two label needs to stack horizontally. I just click stack and it's it's horizontally um, by default. So I click again for these five images horizontal by default and the button horizontal by default ah, okay so I have these four stack view ready now let me move a little bit down this one a little bit down this one a little bit down as well ah, all right and this one never mind ah, I select these four stacks view and click stack once again but this time it's going to be stack vertical that's correct okay and yeah before we run our app it looks really weird right now but we will keep improving it it's time to times we want this stack to fill out every spaces here on any devices yes we need constraint so let's add constraint zero from the top left right and bottom add for constraint Ah, we need to update frame it looks a little bit weird but yes no problem let's run and see there we go so we have shoes labels and images button look weird look ugly now let me rotate look ugly please note that when i rotate i have five images when i rotate it to the vertical one i have four images so there must be something to improve all right let me let's do it in the next video stop